about is the life of Christ. Everybody say life of Christ. There's a glory God put in there that we need to express and push out to become exactly like Christ. Hallelujah. I will labor for the master from dawn till setting sun. I will talk of all wondrous love and care. When the saints on earth are gathered over on the other side. And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. That's what matters. That's what I'm running after. Leave the titles. So Peter was rebuked by Paul in Galatians 2, 11 and 12. And then he said something here. He said what he did was very wrong. And then he goes on to verse number 12. And then he says, when he first arrived, he ate with the Gentiles, believers who were not circumcised. But afterward... When, his, he, when some friends of James came, Peter wouldn't eat with the Gentiles anymore. He was afraid of criticism from these people who insisted on the necessity of circumcision. As a result, other Jewish believers followed Peter's hypocrisy. The danger of following blindly. Dr. Ferdinand. That's the danger. As a result. Other Jewish believers. Follow the hypocrisy. I'm not sponsoring rebellion. But please. Jesus is the model. I've had people say, once your leader says, yes, follow up, whether it's correct or not, still go, follow after. Please don't. In the matters of sin and righteousness, that's what I mean. Not in the matters of administration and governance, that's different. Did you get that? Even Barnabas was led astray by the hypocrisy. He said, even by, why did he use even Barnabas? Because Barnabas, it was Barnabas who did the first teaching that turned people to Christian. Acts, my brother, Pastor Collins, Acts chapter number 11, verse 26 and 27. I, I can't get off that scripture. Every time I read it, I'm asking and I'm saying, Lord, please give us that, those moments again. And I think we're getting there. The quality of the teachings I've had in the last few days, if, if, if we have this kind of teachings for one year, we will record the same thing. Look at what he says here. When he found him, he brought him back to Antioch. Both of them stayed there with the church for a full year. That's Paul and Barnabas. Teaching large crowds of people. It was at Antioch that the believers were first called what? Christians. Christians. And who sponsored that teaching meeting? Barnabas. So now, Paul was saying that Barnabas that we know to be a conservative, a teacher, integrity, discipline, he said even him too was led astray. Let's go back to Genesis 16. Where I made a detour from. Just a 16. Now, Sarai's, now, so Sarai, Abraham's wife, took Agar, the Egyptian, thank you, the Egyptian servant, and gave her to Abraham as a wife. This happened 10 years after Abraham had settled in the land of Canaan. Verse number four. 
so abram had sexual relations with hagar it wasn't meant to be and she became pregnant but when hagar um, knew she was pregnant she began to treat her mistress sarai with contempt so anytime you you choose to walk in permissive will instead of perfect will the end result is likely going to be shame and content contempt i forbid that for you in jesus name then sarah said to abram this is all your fault really <laughs> the mystery of women <laughs> They are amazing and mysterious. This is all your fault. Sirai said. I put my servant into your arms. But now that she's pregnant. She treats me with contempt. The Lord will show who's wrong. <laughs> you or me. I told you the patriarchs are not immaculate. Trust me. someone said to me that if you do extrapolation you will see that sarah was not an easy nut to crack sarah abraham so abraham actually learned obedience <laughs> through suffering <laughs> and that and that's what i'm actually trying to tell you here you don't have to walk out of it's not every marriage you walk out of I, I, i'm gonna divorce you it's now very common. I'm going to divorce any small thing. I'm going to divorce you. Could it be God breaking the alabaster box? Could it be a process where God wants to showcase what He has put in you so it can be pushed out and expressed? Oh, we are no longer compatible. I'm going to divorce you. Oh, we are no longer compatible. I'm going to divorce you. I I'm seeing an Abraham who is an easygoing man, I'm seeing a Sarah who is an extrovert. I'm seeing a Sarah who can say to Abraham, although Abraham was 10 years older than, he, than her, who can say to Abraham, so where are you going? You didn't tell me you were going out today. Let me check that phone. Give me that phone. Let me check. Let me check who just called you. I said, how do I know? I know because if you pick some facts from Sarah's actions, for example, in Genesis 21, you see Sarah saying to Abraham, this bond woman and her son must leave this house today. Abraham said, why? He said, they were, they were doing one kind of eye to me. They were mocking me while I was drying the clothes there. They were mocking me. I'm like, they must leave today. Abraham said, but my, take it. Why now? You've come again with this. Well, take it easy. He said, take it easy. This house will become hot for us. But Abraham didn't walk out of the marriage. Sometimes God will use your spouse to bring the best out of you. I told some of our guys, I said, I want you to pray very well before you make choices. And now that you say you prayed and you fasted and you've made your choice and all that, whatever comes out of it, you have to manage it till Jesus comes. You have to do what? Manage it. It won't be long a few more years <laughs> it won't be long that's the comfort you should have it won't be long <laughs> just a few more years jesus will come but for me to hear you saying you want to divorce her or divorce him and it's nothing that has to do with life threatening and uh, she's no longer compatible she's not a material for pastor's wife she's not a material she don't we're not compatible i can't i can't take her out and give a speech she's too fat she's too my friend keep quiet manage it sorry manage her not eat 